Hey everybody, so welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new. Um, these are some outfits that I got that I just wasn't going to show each one individually, but um, basically I pulled out all the newborn stuff and I wash it. I had some towels and some bathing, um, well like a robe right there. Um, my kids pretty much live in, have lived in like PJ onesies, so I have a nice pile of those, and look at how cute they are. Some of them are that soft material, and look at this one with like the gold on it. It is so cute. So I have washed those and put them away, um, but I wanted to show you some of the newborn stuff that we've gotten. We've got some cute little bibs here. Um, just the... I separate the short sleeve onesies to the long sleeves and as you saw a little bit earlier you there was some long sleeve ones aren't these so cute for spring so um, I just love all the different you know onesies that babies are in and they look so cute so there's some socks a couple blankets a couple bows um, I didn't wash all the bows but this right here and you'll see a little bit later is my favorite outfit and we think this is what we're going to take to the hospital to bring her home in. Even has a matching little blankie. This blankie right here you'll see a little later too. It's one of my faves. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am talking today about basically my baby shower haul. So, um, just like everything that I got from my baby shower. I mean, I can't promise that it's everything, but it's most things. I've gone through some of the things already to try to organize, um, but I wanted to show you guys some of the great things that I was blessed with by friends and family and coworkers. And um, I'm also going to try to point out some of the things that are like essentials for me. So, we have um, two boys already and a baby girl on the way. I am nine months pregnant right now, um, so <laughs> trying to get comfy, but um, we're in the nursery and it's still a, a work in progress. So I'm working on putting together something to show you guys the nursery in its final state, but I've been um, also taking down some video of how it's progressing. Um, after my shower last week, last weekend, um, and then my lovely coworkers put on a shower for me um, this last Wednesday, and my job share partner put on a classroom um, baby shower for me a week, about a week and a half ago. So I was trying to compile all the things that I got and this would just be a super, super long video if I showed you every single thing. But what I would like to do is maybe show you some things in a quick way, um, and then also try to point out some of the, um, let's just say like essentials that I would, that I feel as though we really need at this point, um, having had two babies already. So always adding another baby is going to be a little tricky and you you can never know what to expect. Um, some things I thought that I was going to need or not need when I had my second child, um, it just, we didn't eat it or we did. And that's basically because every kid is different. Every baby is different. So my second baby was different than my first. Um, but it's also because you have these expectations because you, knew that that's what you needed for say your first baby or the prior you know baby before and um you didn't end up actually needing to worry about it or needing that much if you kind of get what i'm saying so i am um, i am going to show you guys what i got and also what i think is super essential for having either just a baby or babies <laughs> or kids okay so I am kind of not super organized about this, but I am just gonna kind of go with it because if I sat down and organized all my thoughts about it, it'd probably take forever and I would never get this video done. So 
What I first wanted to show you guys um, was, so with my second, well, with both of the babies, um, and this isn't really like something that I got for my shower, but it's something that I got because I knew I needed it. So this right here is a very light um, battery operated light, LED light. So um, the reason I made sure to get this was because it's easy to turn off and on. I don't have to worry about where a plug is at. I know batteries can be kind of a pain, but um, if you're good about turning them off when you need to, um, and when we read books at night or when I'm nursing, let's say when she's new and if I'm nursing or just putting her to bed in a dark room, I don't want her to get used to too much light. So something like this is really nice to have. And what I like about this one is I can like set it on a table and it's got the on and off switch right here. Or I can hang it up. Um, and luckily this one came with two from Decor Steels, and that's a web site that you would have to get. So this is something that's going to be a nice low light. And if we did need something like this for a nightlight, I thought this was really cute to add to the nursery. All right. Um, okay, another thing that I got for my shower, a nice caddy. So these caddies have pockets on like every side for different things um, and then sections inside that are removable. They're easy to carry as long as you don't have something too tall and I got two of them. So with my first son, he ended up using some passies and they were the man's brand. So we got some of these. And the clips are nice to have, not just one, but we got um, two clips. The other one is a different brand, but I'm going to show you the other man's brand that we got. So I'm totally willing to try Passies. My second son didn't take a Passy. He did at first, and then I think the more and more he got used to nursing, and um, we actually put him in his room way earlier than my first son. And... He learned to soothe himself. Um, he actually never took a passy again after that, or a bottle. <laughs> but, um, so we have a couple mans that we can try if we need them. And then I got a Dr. Brown set, which is cute with the clip. And honestly, I think passies also, what I feel like I've learned is passies kind of depend like on the nipple. And honestly, if they're, if they're feeding from you, if they're similar to you, to you, <laughs> if they're, if you're not nursing, maybe if they're similar to the bottles you've been giving them, that's what I've kind of noticed. So the other one that I got here, I can't really take the tag off, but it's Tommy Tippy, and um, I've never tried that brand before, but totally willing if you know she needs it. So that's what I've learned about passies. Um, I don't like try to force the passy on the baby just because, you know, if it's not needed, then great. And they can soothe themselves. Like I would love that. Cause with my first son and on the subject of passies with my first son, um, he needed it after a while. He probably didn't need it, but he thought he needed it. And then we had to get, um, more passies. They were starting to get chewed on. As he got older, we we found that then we had to get um, the glow in the dark ones in case he, you know, wanted it in the middle of the night or we'd have to get up and it just kind of became a hassle. So I'm really glad my second son didn't really need them. Um, so I'll probably try not to have to use them, but I'm not against them at all. And if, if you need to sue the baby with a passy, I'm like all for it. So I'm glad that I have some of those. So washcloths. I also ended up getting another set of lavender ones, which was perfect because as you can see, we're kind of going with like gray and lavender in the nursery here. Not that they're gonna be in the nursery or anything. Um, so I got those and some lavender ones and I'm excited about that. 
This is just a super cute little like drool bib. It's the only one that I got. It was from one of my students. So cute. And this tiny little like burp cloth or drool wiper. I just thought they were so cute. These are all from my shower as well, but I did register for them. So just wash and shampoo. I mean, I've pretty much moved myself over to this stuff as well because it's so gentle, but I just love that it's like two in one. And then we had someone get us a first touch baby gift set. It's a cute little caddy that has lots of different stuff. So we got this noise machine or sound machine it says, but I liked that it was just plain white. Um, you can use batteries or the plug, which I think is great because if you travel, you might just want to use batteries in it or if you want to bring it downstairs or to a different room, this is nice. This is a portable soother. It's really, you can actually put it on their crib. You can put it on, um, say she's sleeping in the, um, the swing or, you know, you just need it for when you go out to the park or something like that. So this is really cool. It's a portable one. This, I have never tried this either, but it's a night light. It's got the charging stuff in there as well as like the directions. But this is like a portable night light. So I thought this was cool because we've also traveled before um, and didn't have a night light and my son was used to having a night light so um, so you just kind of I don't think it's not gonna work right now but you just kind of turn it and the light turns on and I thought it was actually just like a really pretty color and stuff so you'll see this pattern in a little bit but this came with a blanket it is so soft it is so cute I love the blush and the gray together um, and this can also be this can be in their um, uh, car seat or if you have them, you know, laying down and you just kind of want to support their head or something. So these are kind of cool. My mom got me this. It's a baby bag. Okay, so it's got like all the pockets that you could use if you got your phone and stuff and one on this side as well. It's got one for our bottle or your water bottle. And I love the colors, gray and purple, that's my thing. It's got lots of different pockets. It's got the changing pad inside, which is very, very needed. Um, and it's washable. And you have different options for straps. So this is one way. And then on the back, if you wanted to carry it like a backpack, you just pull and adjust it to your back and then you put it on. So this was really cool. I don't know where she got it. It's Baby Bjorn brand. And then I'm glad I got one of these. I forgot to register for one of these and these are so nice to have. They're, like, they're the Twinkle books. And um, my kids, you know, would it's got a teether and my kids would chew on them and they were just nice and safe for them. And then obviously they can look at the different pictures. So this one's got unicorns on it. So I'm not going to show you every single bow, but some of my favorites are this, these ones because they're so soft. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to not show you every single detail of the blankets, but blankets are essentials for me and not just one or two or one size and another size. Um, again, kind of like the washcloths, they are so essential for me. I have blankets upstairs, in my room, downstairs, um, plus I love blankets for myself and they're just so soft. So, and we keep using them. Like I still use the blankets that my first son got and I don't know if I'm ever going to stop. I mean, they're adorable. They're so, if they're big enough even for me to just snuggle with, I do. I mean, I'm sure when they're teenagers, I won't have as many, but I love the blush. I wasn't a big pink person, but now that I'm having a baby girl and I've gotten some blush things, I mean, these are, I, I'm kind of pinkish now, but the other side's really cute. It's like an elephant and I love it. So 
Um, let me put that one here. So another bigger blanket. This one was made for us as well. Really cute. I like the neutral colors. And on the other side, it's got like a little pattern. This blanket, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold it up so you can see the whole thing, but this is one of those that I saw on Amazon and I registered for and it was florals and you basically can lay it down on the floor, lay the baby here, put something over the amount of months they are, but it is also a nice, big, soft blanket. It's a little lightweight if it's not, like not that thick, but it's really soft. And if you need to fold it a couple times, especially for a newborn, this is going to keep your baby nice and warm. Um, another, these are like the mid-size blankies. I just think that they're awesome to have for wrapping the baby up. I, you, like I said, use blankies all the time, but I also think that this is a good blanket for when they're two or three and they're in their crib and they need something to put over their bodies. So I got another, this one as well. Here's that pattern again. It's white on the inside. It's a really good size. It's not too big, but I definitely still use these for my two-year-old. Sometimes I'll lay them under him and over the sheet, but under him in case he has like a little just a little leak or something but he also really likes how soft that they are and he gets i, th I feel like he sleeps better so probably because i had soft blankets for him and then here's another one this is kind of similar so these are some homemade or handmade um blankies these are always nice they have two different patterns these are nice to lay down under them in the crib when you don't want it to be super hot or um, swaddle or wrap them in. I got this one. And this one's really cute. I just like the little words on it and they're like happy smile. Some, we got tons of sheets. I'm not gonna show you every single one of them, but my favorite, and this is on Amazon. They have, they have another kind too, but isn't that so cute? Look at that pattern. And it's actually really silky. Cute. When I do my tour, you'll probably, the nursery tour, you'll probably see this on in the crib. So you'll get to see this in action. I registered for, because they are essentials, a few boppy covers. I'm so excited about this one. It's one of my favorites. It's a nice, like, it's, it's not as silky as that other one but it's very very soft i ended up getting a couple more so i got this one and on the other side it's the like mint and white so i can see this one being something i'm gonna use in the fall for sure these are covers for you to nurse but also covers for the car seat so i love the print excited about that and it's very soft as well um changing pad covers i got one luckily i have two others already but i do still use one for my two-year-old so i might end up having to get another one but i am so excited to use this color in the nursery as well so if i use this on the changing pad and this in the crib i mean doesn't that good? look so good together Oh, this blanket kind of goes with that theme, so. And this is a good size. It's the only like thermal one that I got. More like receiving blankets. I got a couple more towels. So those are nice to have. Actually a few. My mom got me this book and I'm so excited because you can actually put like their information there when they were born, time and stuff. You can put their name and, and stuff, so. And you can never, as a teacher and a mom of two already, you can never start reading early enough. So read to them, guys. Read as soon as you can. Um, even if you're like, oh, they barely touch the like pictures or 
that's okay. If their attention span is 10 seconds, just seeing a book and seeing how they work is so nice and helpful. Um, every time, I mean, I didn't think my, my second son was into them either. And the next thing I knew, somebody was saying, they love books. He, he loved reading books with me for 15 minutes or whatever. And he'll sit over there and look at his books. And my first son is reading and he's six. So I just really want to stress that it's so important. And it's just, it's like, it's the best feeling when you see them like kind of reading to themselves, even if they're not really reading the words, they're reading, they're reading the pictures and stuff. So books are good to have, but now I'm going to show you my absolute favorite, um, favorite things. So this is a gown and the colors are adorable. I fell in love with the blush, the gray, and I love the maroons. So the maroons, I didn't get to put too many, too much maroon in the nursery yet. I'm hoping to though. Look at these socks, you guys. So cute. They go with this hat. And these little pants. Oh my gosh. I think this might be the outfit we're going to bring her home from the hospital in. And a blanket. So we are like, we're pretty set with that. So I'm keeping this outfit out, even the gown, in case we need that, because I still need to pack my bag. <laughs> so there's one thing checked. Another favorite of mine, and this is on Amazon as well, is this blanket. And I know it's not like exactly the same as the purples and stuff I've been showing you guys, but I love the pattern. And on the other side, it's that blush. And it is the softest, seriously, the softest thing that I have here. And this, I mean, I'm, I, I wanna say it's like $20 or something, but I am so tempted. To, there's two of these on Amazon. And you know how you can like go back to Amazon and then not be there and you have to find something similar and you can't there is another pattern that's very similar to the sheet that i showed you so different than this but very similar to this and i am so tempted to get it i got a few gift cards which i'm so grateful for and um i really want to get the other blanket but i know i have so many blankets already and i'm probably going to need so many other things to order from amazon for baby or whatever we end up needing that we didn't get um, so I'm really trying to tell myself, don't get that blanket, but oh my gosh, it is the softest. I brought up all the newborn diapers and all my newborn clothing that I got. We washed all of that. If you're thinking you might have a big baby, um, you might want to go ahead and wash anything that says zero to three months and have it ready. But for my babies, they've all been around seven pounds or they've both been around seven pounds and this baby's measuring average, so I'm not going to stress about getting my zero to three month stuff washed. I do have it ready in the closet, which I'll show you in um, the nursery tour video coming up soon. But um, I would just make sure you have that kind of stuff washed and ready at, you know, 34 plus weeks at least. I am 37 weeks right now and I just got it washed. <laughs> and I still don't have a dresser yet. So I'm a little behind on my own schedule, but so go through everything you have, separate it all out and um, wash what you think you're going to need first. Because if you have something that is not really in season and you already washed it, you can't take it back or give it as a gift to somebody who could use it. So what I did particularly this time around, cause I've learned in the past, is I just washed the blankets, um, like the sheets, the boppy covers, and um, towels, and clothing wise, I just washed the newborn stuff. And then all the other stuff, um, you will, you know, if you organize it in the closet or wherever you're putting your clothes, have it organized to where you can actually just grab those items if they're usable for the seasons or you like them a lot, take the tags off of them, throw them in the wash. If they're not usable or you don't like them as particularly, maybe they just don't fit your baby's personality. 
um, save them. They could be used as a gift for somebody who likes them or who, who could use them. Having these hangers in your closet to help you organize are so important. I did not get them until this baby and I kind of regret not doing it my first two. So I actually got two sets this time. I have this gray one and I have like a floral set. I'm excited to use this you guys. The baby is, it's nice and padded. Um, it's The baby's got protection and at the bottom here you can open it up or tighten it to where it you know snuggles the baby even more and it's so soft and I thought the pattern was so pretty um, and it, you can pick it up easily and store it or take it upstairs or downstairs if you need to. I got these off of Amazon. They are for books and I wish that I had used these for the babies before. Um, I'll probably still put some in my son's room and they just hold books so I'm gonna put them over by our um, by our chair. Some things you are going to make sure you need to have, you want to have, and this is after any baby, boy or girl, if it's a vaginal delivery. I'm not sure about cesarean, but vaginal deliveries, you guys are going to need, ready? <laughs> Disposable underwear. You just need them. So be prepared. Have some, um, the hospital should be able to give you some but I would have some at home ready to go. These are so, so needed. Um, my mom got me some of these already, so that's how needed they are. She remembered I was gonna need these. So have these. You would, you're probably gonna end up needing them and then like a bigger pair of underwear to put over them or um, once you stop using these, a bigger pair of underwear with like a big pad okay <laughs> um other things you're probably going to need are nursing pads because even if you don't end up nursing you might have some milk that you know wants to come out and you don't want that all over your bra or your shirt so nursing pads are good and if you do end up nursing have some storage bags on hand in case you um, pump and need to store some milk you may not need a hundred you don't know if this is your first baby, you don't know your, if you're going to produce milk or not. So, you know, but at least a good 10 to 20 would be good. My final favorite, and this is for the mamas. Um, so you may not even be pregnant and you might want this, that's fine too. But a robe, I'm so excited about this robe. It's lightweight, but still, I think it's um, like, three quarter sleeves lightweight it's got pockets and it's really soft and I love it and I'm so glad that I registered for one don't feel bad to register for stuff for yourself especially self-care stuff you need it this is something that I'm gonna use probably a lot so here are just a few more things I wanted to show you guys um, these bibs are my favorite because they wash off so easy and the pockets open easy enough to catch stuff. Some pockets don't open very easy. So we like those and they're pretty inexpensive. Here's some tableware. Um, I haven't tried these kind of bibs, but they're kind of like towel uh, material and they're nice and big. So I'm excited to try those. And we have, um, I, if we use bottles, I'm excited to try these. I don't, I've never tried Tommy Tippy brand. And next is going to come up is a bouncer that my friend had for her baby and he just loved it. I've never had an actual bouncer. I've had the saucers, so I'm excited to try that. And this bathtub I actually registered for as well because, my son, my two-year-old son still uses his. So from week one to two years um, plus, he's still using it and we love it. So these are just some of the bigger items that were not gonna be up in the nursery okay. with me. Um, I'm pretty sure there's way more that I didn't talk about. There's way more things that um, I know are essentials that I didn't get to show you or talk about, but this video is getting so long. I need to stop it, but I'm gonna do a nursery tour. I hope you guys watch that. And um, I hope this gave you some ideas, um, motivation, or anything that you needed 
if you're having your first baby or maybe your 10th baby, but um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back to see the nursery tour or anything else that I have along the lines for this baby. If you like the baby stuff that I put out there, please hit the like button, let me know. Keep, I can keep doing some of this stuff and subscribe if you wanna see more and I will see you guys for the next one.